got myself a new toy recently. This is a 4K resolution resin-based 3D printer. I've already had a bit of fun just messing around with it, seeing what kind of detail it can do. And then while I was looking around my shelf, I remembered that I put this little thing together a while ago. Uh, this is just a little motor truck I made out of some random gears and parts for the fun of it. The gear ratio is 156 to 1, so it only moves at about, uh, I think, about 15 scale miles per hour. Very slow. I plan to put some sort of a box cab shell or other thing around it, but never got around to it. But now that I have this, I thought maybe I'd try 3D printing a body for it and making myself a nice little switcher. So here's the body I ended up designing. This is a little steeple cab, as you can see. Um, just got the little four wheel design. This should be about two and a half inches long when it's done. And the motor fits into the cab area. I made kind of a round cutout and support system to work with the truck. And then the coupler boxes there will work with some of these uh, small Katie couplers. I think this was a, I can't remember what the number was on this, but uh, anyway, small Katie couplers, same as I've used in like my Grantline uh, GE switcher kits. But yeah, there's quite a bit of detail on here, like all these rivet nut details, which are Pretty small, but I think they're still within the resolution of what that 3D printer can handle. So I'll just uh, get this ready to print and we'll see how it does. All right, so things are all prepared here. I've got the printer filled with fresh resin. Uh, I'm using this uh, Soraya Tech stuff, Soraya Tech. And let's see, the settings I have are uh, 25 seconds for each of the base layers, and then 2 seconds for each of the regular layers. So, I'll just put the cover on. Start that up. And that should take about an hour and a half to finish, so we'll see how that does. These aren't quite as interesting to watch as the filament printers, since for the most part, you can't even see what's happening in there. They at least give you that little LCD at the bottom that shows you what each layer looks like as it's printing. And then, once the layer is cured, the head of the machine lifts up a bit, goes back down, cures another layer, and just does that one at a time until it's done. Okay, the printing's done. I can see the body on there, so I'm just gonna give that a few minutes to drip off the excess, then throw it in the washer on the left there. So I've got this transferred over to the um, washing station, which has denatured alcohol. And I'll just, uh, there's a lot of detail on that, so I'll turn that up to, I think 10 minutes will be good. So that's got a magnetically driven uh, rotor in there, which gets the stuff stirring, and that'll clean it up real nice. And now that's done washing, so I'll just lift that out. I'll give it a few more minutes to dry before I do the final curing. I've got the body freed from the plate. Just had to gently knock that loose. So now I can get to doing the curing process. I have to place the lid on here because it has a really bright UV light that helps to block it out. So I'll start by doing two minutes for the top there. And then once the time is out there, I'll flip it over and do another two minutes for the rest of it. That just now finished. I'd say that turned out looking pretty good. Got the detail on there real nicely. Even the hex head bolts kind of look like bolts. Especially on the top there with the extra resolution. I can see just a bit of layering, of course. Even with the 0 0.05 millimeters, you're still going to get some of that effect, so maybe that can be smoothed out. Well, let's take it over to the layout now. 
see if it'll fit on the body and start running. Well, it looks like I made one mistake in the print design. One part in here was opposite from where I meant it to be. And then when I tried to do some modification there, I ended up cracking it. So I'll fix that in the model and give it another print. All right, I printed another one with some slight modifications, like the ladders here should look a little better in HO scale than the, my first attempt. I also tried printing it at an angle this time since I got kind of the elephant foot effect around the base before. And I also noticed that this stuff shrinks a little more than the 3D prints I'm used to, so I scaled it up slightly and printed a little more support material. And this time it turned out pretty nice. Body fits on here with a little work. There it goes. So this will only need to be uh, glued on to hold it in place and keep it straight. But now I've got a little running 3D printed steeple cab. Looks kind of cool. And that's about full speed too with the gearing I put in there. And getting up close here, you can kind of see some of the layering that happened and some slight imperfections in the print. So I've got a little more practice to do with the 3D printer, but overall, I think this is turning out really, really nicely. And the sharpness and size of these details is really just amazing. So I think this printer will be a good investment. And as for this, I think it turned out to be pretty good for my first attempt at a fully 3D printed HO scale model. In case any of you watching are interested in giving a try to this print, I'm going to go ahead and upload it and you'll find the link for the download in the description.